good um, mark to hit. So, yeah. I, but in, in teams, dynamic, uh, hectic nature that might make it a little bit a, a little bit tougher for Peach to utilize that that float spacing. Yeah. So we've got uh, Crisis and Meru versus Dark. Darky player. player. Darky player. Darky player. And uh, Shiro Yasha. Shiro uh, Yasha. So Shiro obviously with the Ike. Yes. Darky with the uh, the villager. It's oh, a lot of red and pink on this screen. Yeah. A lot of a lot of uh, Princess Peach like colors. Up throw. Oh, and it, uh, wow. Uh, Shiro picked up. Uh, I mean, set up uh, Dark Darky players up there. I like seeing um, up, Ike's up throw set up because it's like. He puts the sword and knocks it down, and the animation of Ike's up throw kind of makes it seem like, well, the job is my job is done. Yeah, you like, go up there and take it, take it over. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty cinematic. Flying right in there. I mean, this is going to be completely against, um, you know, talking about the game and being, you know, a competitive commentator. But I think that there's a, there's a lot to be said about uh, Smash and its and its and its, its, its animations. There's so much attention to detail in the way in which you know characters work it's and a, the it's way a, they look. Yeah, it's an aesthetically beautiful game. Like I definitely, it, it really adds to the game to see certain moves and the way they hit. Like stomps are so satisfying. Seeing people get stomped. That's and a lovely usage of the toad. That was perfect. And he tried to run it right back, but he didn't find a mark there. But it's okay because he got a kill from that. Yeah, so. just vomited all over him. Goodbye. I don't understand where, where they were thinking of having Toad like vomit. Like, what's going on with Toad? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> first of all, where's Peach keeping Toad? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. What is what does Peach feed Toad? Don't ask. Don't so ask. That every <laughs> Sorry, leave it. Just turn around. What the that hell is a, that? That was an <laughs> intense Toad impersonation. But you know what though? That was probably accurate considering the the, the health condition of the Toad that's yeah. actually being used. So <laughs> the thing is about Toad is like he's he's a damage he's a damage counter, not a knockback counter. But at, but the thing is, it's because it, it but at, at higher percentage he does knock back. Yeah. Because at lower percentage it's not about that. He just does, does a lot of damage. Um, it's very rare to see him use because he's not. I, mean, I keep forgetting being told by Carnage that it's very, very bad to use Toad. Yeah. But I, but I always see it be used so brilliantly. Like I'm like, is it really that bad? Nice trade there, the DBZ. Yeah, I love I love the DBZ moment there. I see that's the thing about teams. Like you can use counter and like actually like. Oh, what? That right. was a very tactical attack from Meru there. That royal crown placed upon the back of Shiro, taking that stock. Shiro, the first person to be on his last stock with such a tough character. That just means he's putting himself all out there. He's sacrificing life and limb to get these uh, these kills. Very, very nice. That team combo was beautiful. That handoff was brilliant, man. That was absolute, absolute perfection there. And uh, right now... <laughs> Oh, oh <laughs> that was uh, again perfection of the handoff on the on the other the, the other side the uh, the the tree of being felled and the monkey going far <laughs> and Darky you saw you saw Darky hanging out uh, hanging out on the left side not attacking or helping his partner so I was I was actually about to say I don't know if it's good to just wait around there and then right as I was ha having the thought to say it he got the, the tree chop kill on Diddy and I was like oh there you go that's yeah. why he's doing it your own level of uh, of clairvoyance there sir. <laughs> We both not, displayed it. That was terrible clear ones. I did not see that coming. Oh, good movement from Meru there. Not really finding himself any damage there. Just, oh. For the back air. Mm. And Narfik took him. It, it took Darky by surprise. Oh. Um, so the stock is gone. Tough, blow, tough boy Shiro staying alive with Ike. Nice covers there from Darky player. Making sure Shiro comes back Get safe him. and sound. Just clapping that tree away. <laughs> oh, no, it can't. Very, very hard to spike that yeah, recovery. Yeah, the timing is very difficult. I mean, Aether is a um, is a punishable move if you have it if you have it right. I mean, like a lot of a lot of countering characters can can can, can counter it. The dash attack is enough though. Yes. Peach's power coming through. Now, this is an interesting two on one um, because we know how much horizontal pressure Villager can exert with you know the consistent slingshots, the Lloyd, you know, uh, kind of not neutralizing but making it a little bit harder for. Meru to really make use of that kind of like, you know, that mid height um, yeah, aerial um, dominance. Because he can really place it on the floor. Oh, that was so good! Allowing Meru to stay up and then just holding, holding, holding underneath and up go those turnips. Oh, Beautiful. Razor sharp. That was amazingly placed. Perfect Definitely timed. making making this matchup a lot more of a, a, a realistic uh, thing to accomplish. Let's see if he can actually finish off the rest of his work here. This is he's got that banana in his hand. Does he, does he have something in his pocket? I'm surprised he's not pocketing it. Because, you know, as you probably know, if you pocket the banana, Diddy cannot pull it out. Exactly, yeah. So and I'm super surprised how unfortunate 
that would have changed the dynamic of the match if he pocketed the banana and then continued to fight. Yeah. An entire element of Diddy would have been gone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, and, and that's the thing. Like, so many players with, with Diddy, I, I'm not make, I, I hate to make a generalization, a, a generalization here, but a lot of players don't know how to play Diddy bananas. Yeah, it's true. Like, it's because it's such a powerful tool that it yeah. ends up doubling as a crutch at times. Yeah. It just makes you too reliant on it. Yeah. Like, you, you, you can lean on it, but it shouldn't be a crutch, as you say. You know? Exactly. You know, it, has to be, it, it has to be an addition to your play. It shouldn't be the cornerstone of your play. And on that very note, I have, because uh, the thing is, um, I find that most commonly, uh, players tend to train by just playing constant friendlies with their friends. And yeah. that's it, right? Well, I like to employ pretty alternative training methods. Like, for example, if I'm training with, um, like, or if my friend's training with Toon Link, because I don't use Toon Link, I'll tell him, fight me with no projectiles. All sword play. Yeah. And... It, it, it will be uncomfortable because you're, you'll, you'll have a higher propensity to lose, but at the same time, it teaches you valuable skills that'll yeah. help you on later. Like, oh, I know exactly how to fight now without having to use projectiles. Yeah. Condition games are uh, very important to you know, like you know, just focusing on little tiny bits. You know, it, and the same. I mean, I hate to make the sports reference again, but you know, like no, it, it, if you're if, if you're like playing like a racket sport, and you're only hitting certain. You can only hit this shot to win. Exactly. And it's like it makes you focus on that one so much more, and it it's like it's like it's like it's like boot camp. It's like um, you know, a, a, you know, like a, a was it a grind session for one thing? You know? Yeah, it's super important, and it it it, it, it kind of like builds character for your character. <laughs> it, it, like so, if you're like a Honestly, like if you're at home and you play Diddy, I highly encourage you to take a day out to train and not use banana. And you'll be surprised. It'll be a grueling process. It'll be uncomfortable just like that tree was for yeah, almost everybody on the team. It killed both that was, friend and foe alike. I just love that, yeah, it, 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 you know, this is such an explosive matchup. There's so many big hitters, so many like, you know, left field. You know, uh, killing moves here, and you saw that one, two, three stocks in like what was what, what felt like three seconds. <laughs> I love seeing that. Just so many people dying in, su in succession. Ooh, oh, Mary wow, Mero tried to pan that sword yeah. away. Not a favorable clash at all. Now, Mero the, trying to hold down Shiro. Good stuff there, picking up that last bit of the down air into forward air. That um, quick draw coming out. A bit of a dangerous option, but managed to get away with it. Yes. Uh, um, Smash not finding its mark. Meryl being sent off stage. Uh, you and see how he's yeah. wiggling it like that. It's yeah. just like he's trying to juke you on the basketball. That very nice fair though to get to get that stock off of Diddy. You know, catching him in the air. So far, Meru, only one with uh, his first stock intact, doing a great job of. Uh, if you look at that, just tanking. drops down. A oh, beautiful work there just to keep knocking it up, changing the, dy the dynamics of that edge guard as well. It was very low, low, low. Brought it up high. Yeah. Changed the way that. Um, that darky had to get back on stage. And it's that last, last bit of damage that most people wouldn't dare to go for. They would probably have left it off that and then say, oh, I don't have enough to, for a forward air. I'm just going to go back. But to get that last bit of damage of, of the up air, I think that's crucial because you never know when that damage will come into play when you're trying to kill them later. Yeah, exactly. Nice stuff. All right, zero percent. Oh, very first blood from arrow there. Uh -huh. Oh, Christ is trying to charge up that force smash. This is looking, it, 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 they got, they got, they have the stock lead, but it's, but there's a, a high percentage on both of the oh. red team and one, oh, not two. I, I love seeing a raw smash attack confirms. Crucial edge guard there, but very, very nice stuff. <gasps> oh, not, darky. not enough time, not enough. You should have stopped by the gas station and filled up, yeah. man. You, you made that road trip with a, on a half a tank. But that was What's wrong with you? Yeah, fill up, man. <laughs> but like that was that was very very smart though from um, from Meru because he pressured that. Yes. You know, because like Meru went so deep and waited and waited and waited. It made Ducky go right. Balloons are out. What do I do? I waited. That was that was definitely a case of he left the engine running. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> yep. He was like, do I go? Do I not? Before he knew. That's it. That was the end of that stock. What a. Uh, unfortunate uh, way to go but they're still in the game as of now and if they can take Diddy stock right away they would look in pretty pretty okay form to, to, to possibly turn the match around all the weight on that up there the edge comes out but he's got so much active frames yeah so much <laughs> swang to it he's just got that you know that is that's a rodeo that is yeah it's a phenomenal way to end this match oh and no watch yourself don't put your hand at the garbage disposal. Okay, so Meru on a very high percent. Any nice big hit, like a back air or an up air, is going to take it. So, you know, having that 
Oh, this is interesting. This is an interesting scenario now. This is very doable for the red team. Oh, good stuff. Meru is going to be on his best behavior. See how... Oh, okay. Ooh, that's interesting because he saw the deal of that crisis was going high. Uh, Meru hanging in there. Up smash. Not enough oh. to kill. Bowling ball attempt. No. Oh. This is so close. Oh, crisis tough. is the game changer here. That's gone. Oh, and there it goes. Uh, 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 Shiro. Oh. Darky, what do you got, Darky? You're all by your lonesome. This is 152%. This is horrible just because of how low the percentage on Crisis is right now. Oh, the, the Lloyd oh. saving his life. There, and there goes that dash attack. At, at 140 and up, that dash attack is a frightening attack from Peach. It's that, sec it's that, it's that second hit. Like you can avoid the first, but the second hit is the one that's got all that knockback. Yes. So it's just, oh, you either have to go so early into your shield and then risk, you know, you're the teammate being able to punish that. Yeah. Or you just kind of try and get that perfect timing. But That's if you don't, it. you get caught and GG. That's it. And, uh, you know, speaking of GG, that was definitely a great game from both players. I think, honestly, so far today, we've seen a, a, a variable set of great matches. Like, yeah. 